Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So in today's tutorial, we're going to be learning how to make this beautiful corset top that you can see on the screen. So if this is what you're looking out for, please stay tuned and we'll get right into the video. So guys, I've gone ahead to fold my pattern paper into two as you can see. So now we're going to be using this cup. So the size of this cup is actually 40, but I'm working with a bust of 38. So I went ahead to get a bust that is bigger than this with about 2 inches or so. So that's what we are going to be using for this in order for us to be able to tighten our cup. Now we'll go ahead to rule out our basic bodies. So now for this I'm going to be using 8 inches for my shoulder line. So this is just easy to get from your bust point. So the bust point I'm working with is actually 10 inches. So I'll just go up 2 inches. That will give me eight. Or you can calculate this by dividing your bust measurement by six, and then you had one point five inches, so you get your chest line. So I'm gonna to mark my chest line, my bust point, my under bust, what I will need that for this, the waist, and then the length of this top. So the length of the top you are making actually depend on you, but for this top I'm making a length of twenty inches. So now I'm using a ruler. I'll connect these lines together like this. So guys, now that we are done connecting, we we'll go ahead to label these lines. So like I said, this the first one is our chest line, this one is our bust line, the next one is our Honda bust, the next one is the waist, and then the last one is actually the length of this top. So now we'll go ahead to measure our shoulder. So the shoulder I'm working with is 14 inches. I'll go ahead and divide it by 2, which will give me 7. Now I'll be sloping this shoulder by half an inch. So I'll go ahead and mark half an inch. But before I do that, I'll take my neck measurement. So for this, I'm just going to be using the basic neck measurement. So that is three and three on the other side as well. So I'll connect this together with the curve. If you don't have a curve guys, just use your hand to sketch this freely. Then go ahead and connect your neck point to your slope. So you have something like this after you are done with that. Now go ahead and measure that same 7 inches, which is our shoulder or our back measurement on the chest line. So now connect it from the shoulder slope to that line with a straight ruler. So we're gradually working on our ham hole. So from this point now, I want to go ahead to get the midpoint of this. Now on the midpoint, you make a dot like this. Then you extend this out by half an inch. This is for us to be able to form a curve for this. Remember, this is the front part of the of this top. So we're going to be working with a deeper ham hole compared to the that of the back. Then on the chest line, you go ahead to measure your bust measurements or your bust circumference without an allowance. So you connect from your shoulder slope to the first dot. Then go ahead to use your hammer cuff or your French cuff to arrange the other cuff to where your measurements stop. Like this. So if you are actually following, you should have something like this by now. Now let's continue with this guys. So now we're going to be working with uh, our dart now. So for our dart, we're going to be using our nipple to nipple measurement, which is 8 inches. So I'm going to be dividing that by 2, which will give me 4 inches. So I'm going to have to mark that on my under bust, on the waist and then on the length. So I'm going to connect this together with a ruler. So guys, after connecting this, we are going to go to the end of this top. Then we are going to measure half inches on both sides. Half inches on both sides of the top. Then we will use our ruler again to make this slantly. 
to form our dart. So guys, after you are done, you should have something like this. Remember guys, we have not added any body measurement to this. This is just our dart. So when you are done with your dart, you have your dart looking like this. Guys, so let's move on guys. Now we're going to go ahead and input our basic measurement now, the circumference of our bodies. So for the bust, we're going to be taking our bust measurement, circumference of our bust. Then since we have that on the chest line already, we'll add one inch allowance to that. Then we're going to take that same measurement which we use for our chest line. We're going to be using it on our bust point also. That's 38 divided by 4, which will give me 9.5. So I've gone ahead to measure that and I had one inch to this. On the under bust as well, I'm going to take my under bust measurements and I'm going to add one inch to this as well. This is just for allowance sake. Now for on the waist also, I'll take my waist measurements and I will measure the that I've used and replace it. Then after replacing it, I will go ahead to add one inch allowance to this as well. So guys, this is what I have there. Then I'll go ahead to take that same waist measurement again. Then I'll be adding the allowance I've used for my dart, which will be around one inches. So I'll be replacing that as well. Then I'll connect this together. So guys, the first one we are connecting is the main allowance. That is without the main measurement rather without the allowance now we'll go ahead to connect that of our allowance now as well so we have something like this this is just so we don't get confused guys so guys this is what we have for the front piece now we're going to go ahead now to work on this using our cup so before we work on that using our cup on the fold of this paper you go ahead to go to your bust line you measure one inch or half inch depending on how wide you want that part of your corset to be so for this i'm going to be using one inch sorry guys the camera is kind of blocking there so then i'll also be coming down from that point i extended by one inch as well so after doing that I'll go ahead to connect this to my own double slide so you have something like this when we are done so this is the space that's going to be in between our corset so you can make this one you can make this one and a half but I think you should not exceed this So now the cup is going to be sitting directly on your under bust. Now remember it is from that one inch you measured. So the edge of your cup is going to be touching that point you measured here, that one inch you measured here. Then it's going to be sitting directly on your under bust. So you have something like this after you finish placing it. As you can see, take note of those parts. Then you gently use your marker. Or your pencil to trace this out be careful not to smudge the cup while you're having that guys so you have something like this after you are done with that now on this part I always like to add half inch to it in order for my for that part not to go too down after we are done sewing so we want to add half inch, then blend it to our post line measurement. Just extend your cup a bit upward like that, then you blend it in. I really hope you are following guys. So we have something like this. Now 
as you can see the front piece is actually ready so we're going to go ahead now to cut this out but before we cut it out this is how it looks like on with the cup on it as you can see it looks beautiful already even when we have not started cutting so let's go ahead to detach this now from the main bodies so please guys when you are cutting be careful not to ruin the pattern so we we'll cut from the allowance part then you cut from the other side as well trace outside of the cup So guys, yeah, please try to take your time to cut this. As any rush can lead or can lead this to just ruining the paper, and you have to start from the scratch again. So this is what we have, guys. The front piece is actually ready. Now we're going to be using this front piece now to draft out our back piece. So this is what you are going to have after you are done, guys. So this is what you, it looks like with your cup on it. So guys, I'll go ahead now to get another pattern paper like I said. Then we'll be placing the front on it in order for us to draft our back pattern. So for this, we're going to be ruling out 2 inch on the edge of this paper which will serve as our zipper allowance. If yours is not going to have a zipper, you can go ahead to remove this. But for this, I'm going to be using a zipper. So if it's going to have a zipper, you can go ahead to add your zipper allowance too, guys. So from this point I rolled, I'm going to be placing my front bodies. Then connect like this. So this is what you have. Remember, the front bodies is right from where you have your zip allowance. Now I'll go ahead to use my marker to trace this out on the new pattern paper. So we want to be careful by doing this as well. So I'll trace out all points I'm going to need on this. Also the upper part, you go ahead to mark it out. In order for you to know where you're going to start and where it will end guys. So we have something exactly like this. Go ahead and label this part your zipper so you won't cut it out. So I'm going to, you go ahead as well to make these lines clearer. Now for the back part, we're going to be using a straight line. But for this, I'm not going to be working with a straight line. I want the back to be kind of curvy so i'll go ahead and connect this if you want the back of yours to be straight go ahead and use it that way the way it has been connected like this but if you want to give it some curve or another shape you can go ahead and curve it as well either way it will still look beautiful guys So I'll connect it now. So guys, this is what the back also looks like. Now I'm going to go ahead now to connect this. As you can see, I gave the back some curve. And I, like I said, if you don't want this your back to have this curve, you can go ahead and cut it using the straight part. But I'm going to be using this curve for mine. 
So now we'll go ahead to cut this out. Once again, please be careful while cutting. So you can see I'm cutting towards the other line and not the first one because I don't want to use the back, the straight line for the other one. So guys, this is what we have as well for the back piece. As you can see, they both look they both look beautiful. 